everyone, it's Gwethorn from Gwethorn's Games and I am running the Max Landscape Difficulty Champion and I'm in Deep Scray running the Epic. Cowardly eyes are upon us, and watching us from some hiding place. Okay, it looks like I need to do a roar to be able to get them out. Thank you very much. There's a terrified goblin, and this is. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! For hush, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh... Okay, frightened goblin. Yep. Ah, oh, let him go. We learned something useful. Yep, Erskill was alive when he brought to Vatan Ronk. If we hurry, we may be able, may able to may be able to keep him that way. I do not know much about Vatugronk, the groaning pit. Okay, so I'm now coming over to here, which is a fair way away, but what I'm actually going to do is go to Aslif. And I've decided I will move into Glooming Tarn for a bit, if possible. Okay, this is Aslif. Actually, while I'm here, At the base of the burn, burn beam might actually. Hmm, actually, I, I might just go and meet up with Trousty. See if I can outrun all of these to the elevator. And I want the base, ground floor, ground floor. Now there might be something right there, yeah, there is, okay. As you can tell, I am running this at Heroic Plus Two. These creatures would be not quite as difficult as this if it wasn't on maximum landscape difficulty. And we are running with Update 37. Now I think I have to go all the way around the other side. Somewhere around here, there he is. We are here. Attempt to rescue Erskill Bloodthumb. Yes, let's do and that. Keep your eyes open for my axe as well. So this is not going to be uh, my lost axe as well. Not going to be running at heroic plus two because it's an instance. But we will go for it. little bit faster <laughs> in comparison to what I just had. Uh, dear. And the weary warrior. Yes. Yep, let's go 
Wir freuen ihn. Can't help it, but add that bubble in. Just, just seems like second nature now with the heroic plus two champion to always be running with a uh, a bubble when possible. Not that it's needed in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, so much different from just coming down the bottom of those stairs with was actually an heroic plus two. Well, yes, we will get that axe back for you. I wouldn't worry about it, trusty. Okay. And now we have to do a bit of defending, do we? It's a bit late for that. An armored troll might actually take a little bit. So, we have to go and find the axe, but the goblin will be around as well. Okay, let's go. I thank you again for the rescue. And Vestrith. Might I have a moment of your time? Yes, yes. The, so... So as part of the, the epic, Erskill is unwell, um, but Fastrith is trying to find a loophole in the contract that was signed. Aye, that's the spirit. Okay, search for the luggage for the contract itself, and I think I'll go and do that. Okay, up the stairs. Now, the contract itself is a big thing. I've actually read it before um, and it did occur to me when I was reading it what should happen. Footsteps approaching. Okay, here's Stoli. Stoli says, yes, release the apprentice. Yeah, yeah, examine the contract. Okay, so. So, yes, the names of the parties, and there's the king, and it was done under the original king, but uh, the apprentice is going to have to do things in a timely fashion and do what's told, and, okay, provide a weekly stipend, and he breaks stuff, then he loses a bit. Um, the king under the mountain is actually not with us so okay Dane the second iron foot king under the mountain and now what we have is the problem being that he cannot be replaced unless he finds a second King Dane is dead so they have to go and find out some way some way of nullifying the contract which they can't Hmm. What do you think? Yep, too long to take back. Yeah, it's only a swift travel. But 
Nominate a substitute to carry out his duties in case he comes ill or maimed. Okay, yes, Fastrith says Fastrith can take it, take the job. A substitute apprentice? I don't know about this. Deduct a portion of the weekly stipend to cover the inconvenience he really is. Yeah. Okay, speak with Durin downstairs before returning to Gundabad. Hello, Durin. I thought I saw you here. Okay, so a pocket item which is not as good as what I have, nowhere near as good as what I have. But I get a thousand virtue experience, which is nice. Then let us return. The conquest of the mountain home will wait no longer. And we go back to East Matagard. Okay. Which is nice. Find Bossy at the entrance to the Pit of Stone Jaws. So I'm now to push deeper into catching up with the epic. Uh, I... is the where are we? Pit of Stone Jaws. Now, as I said, I, I want to do Glooming Tarn, but I, I'll hold off for a little bit. Yeah, Bosi is located. There we go. There's Bosey. I do like the the uh, pit of stone jaws. Uh, it's got a couple of really nice correlations between the Welcome epic. Welcome, my friend. Are you here to lend us your aid? Eight creatures in the pits and find Bori to the northwest of the pit. Talk to Bori in the pit of stone jaws. So that is located up here. You can see that I, I would have to actually go back to yeah northwest of the pit, so I need to come back to here. So uh, these these three areas are convenient. The sorry the the fourth, fifth, and sixth tombs. I still have not done those yet, but they will count towards the eight creatures in the pit of stone jaws to actually be able to do it okay so my intention now is because i will do that in the uh next before the next video or two and it is time to go to Aslif again and roll through into Glooming Tarn, because Glooming Tarn has some interesting quests. I'll do it the slow way, while it would be easy to fast track to uh, Watcher's Roost. If I slow ride Have Watcher's Roost, then among other things, I can show you the character so I'm still using basically exactly the same gear as I was before you can see how how those stats have changed they've dropped by a factor of 10 um, the percentages look to be about the same but yeah they've, they've, everything's dropped by a factor of 10 um, I've still got the base morale multiplier uh, and single target attack and single target crit as well as the area of effect attack and the area of effect crit um, I'm using level 136 gear that all came from uh, the moats of enchant embers of enchantment Okay, I'm, I'm not too far away from where I want to jump off and I am still running the blue line with the extra yellow 
Okay, I'll actually just mount there. Now, I don't think I actually get the quest from here yet. I think I still have to be directed to this area. But I can pick up, at least start to pick up, the quests in the Watcher's Roost. Now, I may not be able to do them because they are yellow creatures, but I will try. It's a little bit, a little bit ahead of where I... where I think I should be. Oops, I'm gonna get attacked. Okay, always the way. Gotta see if I can get through there. I wanna to get to the Watcher's Roost and set the milestone before I do any strange things. So Glooming Tarn has, you'll be able to see it fairly shortly, green, yellow grims, so you, most of my characters, I've got seven uh, level cap characters and they all have issues with these particular creatures. Um, they can't do them. <laughs> issues, yes, they get killed too easily. Uh, so, Bugs that I think no oh, yep yeah, that one will do the steep set will be replaced. Now I'd like to pick up these quests for the Den of Book Club. At your service and your families. Which At is your good. service and your families. Long live Thorin Stonehelm. Long live Durin Stonehelmson. Okay, and I have one or two more to pick up. Well met. Okay, so. There's only one thing for it. I have to find out whether my character can survive this, survive fighting yellow creatures. I don't think it can, but the Grims are going to be the hardest, so I'll try something else first. There should be spiders around here. Um, this is the ambushes, I think they are. This is the big test of whether this character will be able to survive around here. Looks like I can run okay. Okay, well. I'll go down to the tide pools and see if I can see what I can get there. Glow worms, there's a glass spider. Okay, so odds are I will not survive this, but I definitely want to know. is the answer to that question. Okay, so I am now relocated. Looks like I'll be able to relocate down at... Yep, yeah, that will do. things let's have a oh we're gonna go straight for that are we okay
Oops, no. It's not going to survive this. Close, but no cigar, I think. Oh, I might actually survive this. Close. Very, very close. Okay, but I did throw absolutely everything at it. I'm so close to going up a level. And I think the level would actually give this to me. everything so okay let's see if I can pan here again okay that's one pen done let's see if I can pan here My estimate was that I sh might be able to get into Glooming Tarn with the characters, that, with the character I've got. Um, let's see if we can get another one. Close, but no cigar. Okay, the carriage is so close to being, being able to do this. Come on, this, surely this is going to be, this is acceptable.
Ah, okay, I was in completely the wrong, completely the wrong, wrong location. Okay. Okay, that's another one of those. Okay, so what I will do is I will fight a few more of these, I think. How many do I need? Another five. Mm, yeah, actually, I might do something different. I actually think I will go over and get the discovery location for the Pit of Stone Jaws. Uh, sorry, for the Den of Book Luck. in that direction yes it is so yeah this this is glooming tarn there's there's some interesting quests up there when we get to it the epic will take us up there but we'll get there other ways as well because the local quests will give that to me um i'll get i'll get the third fourth and fifth dwarf lords tombs um And I'll probably hand that in as well. But let's just get the den of book lock. I'll probably end up going to level 137 from doing those those tombs. Um, I won't hand them in because the houses of rest is going to be close as well there we go there's the light on for the den of book lock so that's one of the uh the den of book lock is one of the level 130 to 140 characters that, that if you do the level two version of it the two player version of it uh they drop good uh, well, I can drop good um, items. Now, I do have several of those to take out. But I don't think I'll actually do that this time. I might come back. So I have five of them, I think. Influenced goblins. I'll see how we go at taking one of them out. If I can take one of them out, then, well, actually, if I can get past these ones on the outside, that would be great. There's the den of booklock. Okay, I've got the discovery deed, so if, if my character does not survive, then that's just the way of it. I will go back to the starting location. And we'll go back to the... Oops, get out of there. Oh, I'm stuck in it. Okay. Yeah, two of them is going to be too many. if I get through this. That's one. That's two. Okay, and I've got the discovery deed, which is great. I only have a handful more. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get those. I, I, I'd like to get them if I can get them. It does make sense to do it now. I 
will run a little bit long, but hopefully that's okay. Reduction just to give me a good chance. We've got another one coming up. Let's see if I have to take it. No, I can't. Oops, I've pulled in a deep toad. That'd be right. Don't know whether I'll survive this though. Okay, so that's, I've got four of the influence goblins. I will actually go for the last of them. I've got my dire need under my belt if I need it. I'm actually going to use it. Okay, that's the five of those. Okay, and I will... For want of anything better to do, I think I now... Further explore where the influence goblins are camped. I think that will actually take me into. Yep, that's what I thought. I am going to run past these. Okay, go very deep. Okay, complete the den, the den of book lock on any difficulty. Okay. Yes. Come on, other things. Come on. Okay, let's see if I have to actually do this one or whether. Okay, so um, I will actually go to Orti, I think. Yeah, I'll go to Orti, I'll hand that in.
Hello, Warty. Gundabad will be ours once more. And do I have any others to hand in? Ooh, doesn't look like I do. Anyway, I will be level 137. Um, just purely and simply by doing these quests. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye all.